Ladies and gentlemen, the first half of 2023 has been pretty stacked for the Nintendo Switch. I guess I was kind of one of those people that thought the Nintendo Switch was on the way out. I mean, how many more games could we actually get? So in this video, I want to show you a couple games that are coming up that I think are going to be must plays and uh, you should definitely keep your eye out for these games. My name is Robot Joe and I'm your host as always. Let's go ahead and get started. This year has been pretty freaking fire for gaming. The crazy thing is, I remember like the end of last year, I just couldn't find anything to play. I would try games, didn't like them, play some old stuff, whatever, whatever. There was just nothing to play. I truly cannot even catch up this year. I'm still not even done with Tears of the Kingdom, and there's like 50 games on the horizon that I want to play. Quickly, let's break down six of those games, because I think these are going to be ones worth checking out. The Laura Croft Collection arrives on June 29th, 2023. In the Laura Croft Collection, you're getting Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light and Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Race against time and the Guardians of Light to unlock the secrets of the Mirror of Smoke and imprison the Aztec God of Lightning and Death before he can plunge a world into eternal darkness. And in the Temple of Osiris, battle through the ancient Egyptian burial tombs to reunite the fragments of Osiris and prevent Set, God of Evil, from enslaving all of humanity. That sounds pretty badass. And you're getting two of these games together. They always have been great games. For some reason, I feel like they kind of went under the radar at some point, but that's a huge mistake because you're going to get an enjoyable game every single time. Definitely check them out. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective arrives on June 30th, 2023. I don't really know how to explain this game. You're a detective, I think, who is a ghost also, and you can prevent or solve crimes by like manipulating the world around you. So I guess this is an HD remaster of a game released all the way back in 2010. I never heard about it back then. So when I seen this on the Nintendo Direct a couple months ago, I was like, holy crap. That looks awesome. This is a game that I've been waiting for. Everybody who's played it before said it was great. And so now it's even remastered with better graphics and I guess better gameplay. So it can only be better than it once was. The Legend of Heroes Trails into Reverie arrives on July 7th, 2023. Yeah, this just kind of looks like your standard RPG. Everything I was seeing about this made me immediately want to play it. I don't know. I'm on the fence always about RPGs or games like this. Some of the most popular RPGs on the Switch, I truly just never played it and don't even care about it. For some reason, this game looks pretty badass. What destinies await these three fateful figures? Use the trails to walk system to switch between each character and determine the fates of key characters and locations within Zamuria. Dive into refined tactical combat with new features such as United Front and discover new allies and challenges within the halls of the True Reverie Corridor. Yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty freaking awesome. Maybe it has some kind of school elements like Fire Emblem 3 Houses or something. If I can find time, this is definitely a game I will be picking up. Pikmin 4 arrives on July 21st, 2023. What do I even need to tell you about Pikmin 4? It has been 10 years since Pikmin 3 came out, and it's finally here, and I think this is a perfect time. We've had every kind of big game come out for the Switch, and now it is time for Pikmin to shine. You now have a puppy named Ochi that can help you out. What else do I need to tell you? There's a puppy in the Pikmin game. Going even a step further, you can now explore at nighttime, which was just a no-no in previous games. And I think this is going to be a sleeper hit. Yes, I know Pikmin is super popular. I know a lot of people are going to play this game. I think that Pikmin 4 is going to get a lot of new players into Pikmin just because of how popular the Switch is now. I think it might definitely surprise some people. And another cool thing is you actually get to customize your Explorer for the first time. So definitely this is going to be one of those games you want to check out. Double Dragon Gaiden Rise of the Dragons arrives on July 27th, 2023. Prepare to throw down the Double Dragon way in this fresh addition to the iconic beat em up franchise. It is the year 1990X, who knows what that last number is, and nuclear war has devastated New York City leaving its citizens to fight for survival as riots and crime engulf the streets. The city has been overtaken by criminal gangs who terrorize its ruins as they fight for total dominance. Unwilling to endure these conditions any longer, young Billy and Jimmy Lee take it upon themselves to drive the gangs out of their city. We have seen a huge resurgence lately in beat em up style games. When I was younger, I just wasn't a fan of them, but lately I've been playing all of them. I think this is a game I definitely will check out and I think it's cool. Not everything always has to be a huge AAA blockbuster game to have fun. Disney Illusion Island arrives on July 28, 2023. Join Mickey and friends on a quest to explore the mysterious island of Monoth and recover three mystical books to save the world from disaster. 
Choose your favorite character and unlock special abilities as you perform high-flying platforming feats, solve fun puzzles, and take on epic boss battles. Reveal the mysteries of Disney Illusion Island. Yeah, this game is so nostalgic to me, and it's something I've never played. I just feel like it's ingrained in my childhood somehow. And this, I know it might sound crazy, is one of my most anticipated games. I've already mentioned previously, I pretty much have no time to play anything. But this is a game that I am 100% going to make time for. I think I'm going to try to beat this straight through, and I just, I don't know why, it just looks so freaking fun. Disney really knows how to create a fun and immersive world, so Disney and Nintendo together, yeah, it's a no-brainer for me. Ladies and gentlemen, these are just six games that I think are definitely worth taking a look at. When I was doing research for this video, it turns out there's 50,000 games coming out every single week on the Switch. It's hard to filter them all down to something that's actually worth it. In the comments below, let me know what your most anticipated Twitch game is because I would love to hear it and I might check it out. You guys know me, if you enjoy gaming news, gaming stories, and Nintendo Switch content, then you're in the right place. And make sure you hit a like and subscribe on the way out. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Peace out.